So today I decide I'm going to do a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. And you know what? Your boy did some your boy did some good did some good games today. Um I played a four round tournament of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I went two and two. Which means I lost two matches, but I also won two matches. It was fun. Roll that intro. What is this? I know I didn't do one of these yesterday. Okay. But I'm good to still do it this one to make up for yesterday. What is this? Comment below what this is. Ugh. I'll pin the comment I like. Oh my. I'll pin the comment I like the most. And yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to forget this today or tomorrow. There's definitely going to be one of these tomorrow. I won't forget it again, I promise. Just kidding, I make the rules of this series myself. Yo, what? I'm going to do this this way. I'm going to throw, uh... I'm going to throw my sneak peek experience at Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I ended up, uh... I ended up pulling good today. And, uh... I ended up being fast, so why not just throw it into one of this? Uh, what a sneak peek of Yu-Gi-Oh! is, is... They released a set partially a week early. A weekend early, I mean. And they give you five packs. They give you five packs. And, uh... Of the new set before you can actually get them at stores and I pulled fires you know what enough enough about that here we go I'm gonna I'm put it right here you're not gonna know what the hell I'm talking about but it's gonna be right here for you it was good here to do sneak where for some reason the cover card is a super bless the pulls thank you well, bam. Not sure who this guy is. Not sure who this guy is. Not sure. Oh, all straight to straight to the secret rare. Ooh. Not bad. Primite luxury load. Well, bam. Well, bam. Well, bam. Let's see what's next. What these pulls do. What these pulls do. Um, straight to the straight to the super. Not bad. Straight to the Azamina. I'm sorry, I just keep jumping straight to the pole of these guys. I'm just so used to it. On my free time, I just go straight for the poles. Okay, one, two, three. Needed that. Four. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, one more. Is this a bust? Or is this not? It is totally a bust. Just kidding. It's good. It's good. This is a quick, quick video. By the way, to shout them out because uh, <clears throat> I I filmed at their place. That one. That was the CG realm. It is a card shop slash hobby shop in Windsor, Ontario. They got their own website. They sell singles of TCGs. Hell, they even sell Gundams. This is a free shout out for them. And if they somehow see the shout out, 
Love you guys. I tell you today, I was surprised I actually went to this uh, card game event. I did not fall asleep until 2 a.m. 2 a.m. in the morning. That show was just so awesome last night. By the way, if you want to know the bands that played beside me, besides me and my band Maloom, uh, there was a band called Spectral Tsunami who opened, and the band Gratified Shame afterwards. Gratified Shame has some people who are close to me in that band, and I love them dearly. <laughs> I shouldn't have spent all that money on dial-up noises lessons. So I'm going to teach you guys something special about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You can always get what you want in Yu-Gi-Oh. As long as you have some cash on hand and a whole bunch of good stuff to trade other people. Because I swear, as long as you got where's the pedal... You could sell cards. You could obtain the cards you want. Hell. You could even trade up for the card you want. You could trade several inexpensive cards for an expensive card. And you're good. You're just good, bro. You're good. So, uh... <clears throat> I got something else to bring up about last night's video. Uh, I realized I went commando for this show, and when I, uh, filmed the footage, it could just hit flopping. I am sorry if I somehow scarred you with my flop in Devon. I'm sorry. It happens. I didn't mean to, uh, I didn't mean to play Metallica for whom my balls toll in front of your face. I swear it won't happen again unless someone pays me for it. Just kidding. Not gonna lie, I have felt so alive. Not only because I'm simultaneously going through stuff that is harsh, but I'm also doing a lot of good stuff in my life, too. Today was my nephew's birthday. I gave him, I gave him a little cash so he could probably buy some V-Bucks or something. Kid, kids can have a great time. He, he, kids these days apparently, like, if you got a niece or a nephew, just give them a card with some money, bro. Apparently that's all you gotta do to make your kids and nieces and nephews happy. Is give them V-Bucks. Honestly, I give myself V-Bucks sometimes. <laughs> so, one more thing about tonight. Uh... We, uh, me and my boys, me and a, my group of best friends who I've had since childhood watched that WWE Bad Blood pay-per-view, and my god, it was actually pretty bloody. That intro match completely beat out everything else, so, like... There was a lot of great matches, but the intro match had Drew McIntyre versus uh, CM Punk, and I thought they didn't make him like they did back then, but watching CM Punk and... Uh, 
Drew McIntyre go at each other with a wrench. My, the amount of blood. The amount of blood. It, it, it was almost looking like straight up CM Punk was looking like guts during the eclipse, bruh. Not gonna lie, the new Digital Circus came out yesterday. And I've seen it once. But I want to see it again. So, I'm going to edit this video, find some memes, and throw on these memes that are about to come on for you. So sit down and enjoy the ride. And enjoy today's meme of the day. Well, memes of the day. You know what? Let's do some clown memes. So, well, I told you we're going to do some clown memes. So, I picked out some good clown memes. I started off with, like, one super serious clown meme, so I'm sorry in advance. But, you know, we got to have these clown memes. Um, yeah, I told you it's got to be a little real. I hate when people actually do the bare minimum in a relationship, and that's why I'm single. Like... <sighs> What are you doing? Am I here to just sit here while you rot on your couch and do nothing with me? Like, please, I exist. Why do you want me? Why do you want me in the first place? Well, if this is me, actually, quite frequently, I'd be cracking them dark jokes. Not gonna lie. I cracked a really dark one late earlier today. I'm not sure if I should say it. Uh, is it? PG-13? Maybe. Probably not. Uh, well, here we go with the next one. Yeah, this is straight up Yu-Gi-Oh! players copy each other's content to make new content to make new content on Yu-Gi-Tube. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube is something hilarious, but I love it. There's a bunch of people who just, like, straight open packs and corner the market in some ways too some of them but it, it's it is what it is i saw goth clowns too the first time i saw that goth clowns ooh, goth clowns um not gonna lie if you're a female goth clown hit me up <laughs> just kid, just kidding or am i i'm not sure if i have a clown fetish yet i might i might not gonna lie uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, people flirting. Yeah, sometimes when I feel, I feel flirtatious, I do go nonverbal. Sometimes you gotta go nonverbal, and sometimes going nonverbal might actually work. Because they're like, whoa, what, why is he staring at me? Is he actually interested in me? I might go start a conversation. Just kidding, nobody actually wants you to stare at them. But you know what? It's funny. This is literally me and YouTube. I will sometimes close YouTube just to open it again, like, literally two seconds after I close it. That, that'd be how YouTube be sometimes. Sometimes you gotta open and close it to find something you want. Like, comment, and subscribe, and also don't forget to drink your water. You know what it is. I love you guys.